Justin just yells out, pig! And I was like, what? And it's just this little pig running across the road. So we like slam on the brakes. She was not even the size of our hands. Her story is very unique. <laughs> We were on our way home driving on the freeway. I can't even believe he saw her. She was so tiny and she was so fast. We were three hours away from home. But we were like, what do we do? What do we do? I didn't think she would make the car trip home. She just looked so fragile. Her little squeaks, they just seemed so weak. She kind of just nestled up into a little ball there and just slept the whole way, basically. As soon as we got that first bit into her mouth, she just kind of woke up and was just like so happy and just like started sucking on it straight away. She's got like milk all over her face. She was just like milk drunk. We were like, okay, that's good, that's good. <laughs> We did take her to a vet as soon as we got here. She had damages on her back leg and her eye was kind of bruised and scraped. I think, yeah, she was born on the truck and she had just fallen off. She was only a couple of days old. She was tiny. She was only 750 grams. She was the size of my phone and even the weight. She was just so light. I even tried to buy a little nappies for her, but I couldn't find nappies that were small enough to put on her. <laughs> definitely just got a lot more kind of courageous because obviously when we first found her she was very scared. We like took her to our little front grass area. She was like then starting to run around and jump. We've got a chocolate Labrador. They loved each other and chased each other around the house. She just was not scared at all and that's just her. Like she's just so courageous and so interested in everything and like what are you doing? <laughs> She would jump off the couch, I think, a few times. She thought she was so small. <laughs> her favorite thing to do was to nestle her little nose, or like in your hand, or like on my neck. And that was just like her comfort thing, nestling her little snouts to any kind of warm crevice she could find. Before we took her to the sanctuary, we stopped at Justin's mum's. He was running around the backyard and then she would chase him. You could tell then like how happy she was. It was so hard for me to drop her off after that day as well. I was like, oh, I just want to keep her. I wish we could, but she'll be living a better life. They brought her to us. She thrived and yeah, she continues to. I'm not quite sure whether she is actually a pig. She doesn't dig, she doesn't wallow. I don't know what she thinks she is. Well, I know she thinks she's the superstar here doing um, zoomies around the yard and, you know, at the front door saying, where's my breakfast? She comes in the house, she sits on the sofa. She absolutely adores humans and she's so social. I've never met a pig that likes being held. And I think it's just because we had her from so young and we just held her for a, a week, basically. Jamie would have to like kind of rock her to sleep a little bit, like sing her a bit of a song. She's living a better life and we can still visit her whenever we want, which is really special. We went a couple months ago and it was her six month birthday, so I baked her a cake. I put it down and she just like went straight for it. She's just taken life head on. Maybe she jumped off the track of purpose, you know, like that could have happened. And ever since that moment, she's just shown through and just is so friendly and gives like happiness to everyone that she meets. And I'm just really proud of her. <laughs> Living, living her best life. <laughs>